guys, it's Tanya Schultz. I'm here on my Friday social chats. On, we're on Spreecast with my beautiful co-host, Carla Campus. Hey, Carla, how are you? Hey, Tanya, I'm good. How are you? You look so cute in the green room at the caffeine space. I feel so funny. I, so, I feel funny in the green room. <laughs> you need to put clouds or something in the background. They should be shooting. Like an ocean or something. What is, what? Like I'm at the beach. I know. Where is Art? Why isn't he turning this on? <laughs> I don't think Art is here today. Oh, really? Oh, bummer. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, get me spoke with Tony. And let me go ahead and, uh, it's going to, is Mark Lehman going to hop on with us or? Yeah, he said he was going to go sign on right now. Okay, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to and tag him right now. Yeah. He was busy photo, I mean, video bombing. Video bomb. <laughs> In the green room. Uh, there we go. So, is anybody there today? Um, I saw Hector. Oh, I mean, I know. God, I have to go see Hector. <laughs> I, have stuff, I have stuff to do with Hector with my my women communication website. Oh my god. Oh, with the Drew Paul. <laughs> I'm still going. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. I'm still going through that. Drew Paul. <laughs> Drew Paul. Drew <laughs> Drew Paul. Drew Paul. Drew Paul. Uh, invite him on. Invite on camera. And there he is. And there he is. He should come sit next to me. I know, I right? <laughs> have the other, there's another chair. I know. In the green room. No, he wants to, he wants to show his uh, conference room. Oh, okay. Hey, Mark. Uh, hello. How are you? So, hold on, let me turn this around. Better? Which, which window are we looking at? But so listen, I my my good friend Tremaine Brown, he's he's gonna be calling, contacting you. They're, uh, he's, I think he's uh, producing a series of film, movies actually for uh, in, international distribution. He's doing a second right now, and they're looking for a um, like a, a boardroom or type scenario. Yeah. We have a couple different boardrooms that we can use. Yeah, that's what I told him. So they're gonna come by with a director. I got I got to give them all the information. This just happened like ten minutes before I got on the spreecast. So. Collaborations at its best right now, folks. So, so, um, Mark, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good today. You're feeling good today? <laughs> this week has been a crazy week. We'll just leave it at that. I think it's been a crazy week for everybody. I think <laughs> it's been bad. It's been winding down, though. At least it feels like the weekend's gonna be kind of calm, you know. I hope so. My son's coming here. Do you have any events? Oh, sorry. Do you have an event, Mark? We're going to be brewing beer tonight. Do you have an event tonight? Yes. Okay. And what kind of event? Every Friday we do the Entrepreneur Gathering. Okay. Why, why aren't you Friday sitting next to Carla? Wouldn't that make more sense? She won't bite you. In the green room. Then we'll both be green. Because you're cutting out. I, well, I, I, I think he's cutting out in that room. There's a chair next to me. See? My, uh, chair. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. <laughs> you should go sit next to Carla. And this way, when we get more I'm people to pop on. My phone is cutting out. Okay, so so you need to go into yeah. the green room. Goodbye. Go yeah, they should like have some type of a beach. I, I thought that they'd have like a beach thing going on. Is there a button you can push? He does in the other room. Uh huh. I don't know. There's not the. There's no buttons. There's just the green screen right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my first time actually here. Like, you know, actually doing something or like, you know, being live and so. In the green. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> I think. It looks yeah. Really there cool. he comes. Here, let me get um. We I'm should go into the other. Let me get uh. La, 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 la. I want to go ahead and get this promoted really fast for us. Okay. She's yeah. coming. Yeah, co-working is is is. She's gonna get on your own. Oh, live. Okay, here you go, and. Okay, I'm tweeting this out right now, and I'm playing. Da, da, da. Okay. Well, Mark's getting back on. Is he? So. Okay. Yeah, he's 
right next to me here. Let, let's show a clip of him logging in. <laughs> it's more fun when there's more people in the room, actually, yeah. than me talking to myself. <laughs> See, I'm used to talking to myself. I even have a whole conversation by myself. <laughs> I argue oh, myself. thank you, Mark. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like to talk to myself too, but, you know, sometimes it's more fun when there's more people in the room. Is he really going to sit? Okay, you might have an echo. He's ready. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's, it's... Oh. I'm hearing an echo. Yeah, because you guys are next to each other. Oh, because you're... Remember we had the same problem when we did that, um... Another desk over there. Oh, yeah. dare you. How dare you. Get away from me. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> okay. He has hello, one. hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. A little bit of an echo. Echo? So, Mark, let's talk to you. I think it sounds better. I'm going to go move over here. Yeah, it's perfect. I don't hear anything. Okay. There we go. Maybe? Oh, you just don't want that chair anymore. It got warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so Mark, let, let's let's talk some more about co-working here. Because remember when we um, first started all this, when you first started, I remember you talking about this, and then and then you were the one that got me all into co-working, actually. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, She's like, cutting off. Yeah, I didn't... Am I cutting off? Yes. I, I, yeah. I didn't hear what you were asking, what the question was. I said that, remember when we first had you on the show, like, quite a few times. Actually, you've been like, you're like my sidekick from uh, from the very beginning when I was started out at a radio station. You show up every I found a photo. You got what? From when I was at, uh, I found a photo of us when I first met you. Ryan had take, took a photo of me when we first met. Which one? At the, like the first two minutes. At the social media club at or at the Refresh Miami? No, it was women in communication when Patrick Barbain spoke. Oh, yeah. God, that's... At Fifth Avenue. God, that, oh, my God, that's so far. Oh, my God. Is that the first time we met? I thought we met before that. I thought we met at the social, the, the first social media club Palm Beach County meetup. Well, we, I don't know if we met. That was before social media club Palm Beach know. County. I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> it seems like I know you all my life, so it's just going to, like, blurp into it. <laughs> But you, but you start talking about co-working, what like? and you know what? My week has been very tra traumatic. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. It's been one of those. Duh, duh, duh. Oh my god! Like, I'm just kind of like uh, calm now because I can't get any more psycho or crazy or mad or upset about anything, <laughs> and I can't be in control about everything. I'm sorry. What? I've been ranting this week too. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I, I, I've ran out of, like, I've talked so much this week, going off about stuff, but everything, I, I have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Mark, have you been ranting this week? <laughs> Actually, I've had probably one of the best weeks I've had in quite a while. And, well, you know, I have one side going one way crazy, another one is doing great. <laughs> oh, my so, God. Sounds like a bipolar mess. Well, we're, we're we're in South Florida with bipolar weather, so here actually I'm gonna get on Facebook to let people know we're here. So who's at, who's at co at Caffeine Spaces today? Uh, Hector's here, Jonathan's here, uh, the guys from the Streaks are all here. Um, somebody's sitting across the table from me. Somebody in the green room, hugging up the green room. <laughs> yeah, taking me away from the, the table. <laughs> Should have brought a microphone. Should have brought a microphone. Oh, this on this side. <laughs> but, uh, I'm actually oh. getting my own water that you brought. <laughs> Well, Carla, don't you? So, well, let's let's start over again. Mark, explain explain the co-working philosophy for us. Co-working philosophy. I mean, like, what's what's the deal with co-working? I mean, like, I see you though. You're still on there. 
Coworking is, think of it as like a shared office environment. Instead of joining a, an office for your average uh, business, that's in a small cubicle room. We have a large community area that is community driven. Uh, you want to be able to where you can talk to the person next to you, communicate, network with them, do things like this. He just threw a cap at me. He did? Uh, oh, come on, behave uh -huh. yourself, children. He did. <laughs> you know, it's a very, uh, I don't know how you really, open environment. It's not um, a closed door environment. You want as much community activity as you can. Uh, collaboration. Uh, quite a few companies are coming out of caffeine safety in the last month. How many companies? We're up to seven or eight. Biz Creek, um, Mixed Media Fusion, uh, Innovate Palm Beach. I'd have to go back through the list. Um, so our members are forming their own groups. Or we got different meetup groups that are starting. They're being put together to be hosted here. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm typing as fast as I can because I want to go ahead and promote this fast. Yeah, we can hear you typing. You can hear me typing? I was wow. actually at the... I have, I have these strong yeah. fingers. I'm so loud. <laughs> can't help myself. <laughs> See, what I'm doing is I'm keeping typing. I'm putting my laptop up on top of another table <laughs> and put it away from me so I don't keep typing and I'm just bouncing off the wall. Uh, how, how much coffee did, did coffee. you drink coffee today? I haven't had any. No coffee. I made no more tea. tea. I made lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it um, over. <laughs> I am, I'm going to pop it over later because I'm going to be in the area actually. Mm. I'm going to be here a while. So. Yeah, because I got to stop by. I'm going to go get my hair done actually. <laughs> I gotta leave my house. I haven't left my house at the second. You know what? I'm gonna get my hair done today. Yeah, I got my hair done too. <laughs> yeah. I really didn't do it. This is what I just. <laughs> so this is a leftover. Looks like you married. You got to it a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> More clear. Hold on. Let me. That's better. My we need some lotion. In there. <laughs> <laughs> we can do like a whole fashion show. <laughs> we can do like the before. Should do my hair and after. Cafe's faces. <laughs> If I brush it, it would be better. Okay, okay, okay let me. Better? Yeah. Oh no, it was yeah, much better like that. Better like that. Oh my gosh. You get fashion advice at co-working space too. See, hair advice. Yes. You know, unsolicited hair I advice. It's ridicule. <laughs> I still want to do a show on uh, how to do like makeup and stuff, and we're gonna use we want to use the green room. Actually, we're gonna. We just had a meeting about an hour ago with somebody that is going to be bringing in some equipment. Oh, awesome! Oh, and nice. What are they going to do? We're doing that. He's got, he has his own lighting, LED uh -huh. lighting, backdrops. Cool. Jack and I are coming later to um, discuss real women of social media filming here too. Oh, awesome! Cool. Yeah, I guess you could, you're doing your reality show, the reality TV show you guys are doing, right? Yes. Now he's going to fling stuff at me. Sorry. <laughs> Had to evasive maneuver his uh. <laughs> and, uh Wait, I got one more. He he keeps okay. I gotta ninja karate first and then talk. <laughs> then street cast. I'm trying to like uh. Oh, okay. Post on Facebook here. Oh, invisible. Mm, faces. So what time is the event later? While well, she's um yeah. typing, we can. From um, six to nine o'clock, we have the entrepreneur gathering. And then we'll probably watch a movie from nine till whenever the movies are over, or I fall asleep. Everybody's gone. What movie are you guys watching today? I don't know. No idea. Usually somebody brings in a movie, or we just go onto Netflix. South Florida startup. Here we go. I'm almost done. Um. Okay. And so during the entrepreneurial meeting, what do you guys do? 
kind of nice been discussing uh, three of the different companies that formed two weeks ago. One of them is uh, on the biorhythm. It's using uh, hardware, software combinations to track your energy levels throughout the day. When you take time to work, when you take time to sleep. Oh, I've been cool. using one of them for my sleep pattern, which is really interesting because it tells me when I sleep, how long I sleep, how deep of sleep I'm in, and tracks that over time. I used a few different um, you can kind of see the tracks. Uh, I sleep an average of about three and a half hours to four hours a night. Oh, that's cool. That's an app? Yes. And it helps you sleep? It's or, um... Android. It actually does help me sleep because it reminds me. You go to sleep? Uh, it, yes. And what is it called? I didn't get the name. Sleep as Android. Sleep as Android. They had something in an I iPhone. Several different ones. Uh, you have Sleepbot that is also an iPhone app. Okay. Uh, I didn't care for that one as much. I like this one because it tells me the actual time. Did you sleep? That I'm in deep sleep. Am I supposed to put my? Uh, I, I, am I supposed to put my phone away when I go to sleep? I can't hold it when I'm sleeping. <laughs> you actually set it next to you on your bed. Oh really? And it monitors your breathing patterns. Uh huh. If, it, if you snore, it will vibrate and wake you up enough to where it makes you stop snoring. Wow. Saving marriages, huh? Pretty cool. You, you know what I want to build? I, I, actually, I'm going to talk to Ryan about this because, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff on uh, identity theft and understanding it and a whole bunch of, like, I never even thought, like, when you, when you go apply for a job, you fill out the application. They ask for your social security number, your address, and all this stuff. And what, what happens if... Those people that you fill out the application to, you leave them with the application with all your personal information. What happens if they lose it or they actually gave it to someone else and someone else got your information and they can steal your identity? I mean, stuff like that just like it dawned on me because some, Sears in Chicago, um, this was on Huffington Post yesterday, sold a, a desk full of employees' files with all the social security number, address, and information. So that was like a big thing. And I'm like, going, wow, wouldn't that be cool if I can get some developer to help me build a... Uh, I do need that software to help like track all the social media with their name, you know, or even some kind of an app. Talk to Keith. If you're here tonight, talk to Keith Carroll. He also, he was kind of a victim of something very similar to that. Oh, really? Let's talk to him. One of our friends went through and put his CV online with his home phone number, address. Um, Everybody has that though. Social security. Oh, no, everything. not social security number. And really? Did somebody... Wow. It was all posted online. <gasps> and it took us a couple weeks to get it removed. Wow. Yeah, cause, cause I, I, and it was in the Google cache for a while. I, yeah, I definitely want to talk to him about that. Yeah, because, you know, the old days, you know, you when even on your resume, I'm trying to remember if I had my social security number on my resume. No, I didn't. I didn't, but some people did. I remember... Um, I was a store manager, and, and when I used to get people's resume, they have the social security number. They have all the information on this piece of paper they were passing out like it's, it's you know, like, a, like. The resume I used to have had everything about me. It was about four or five pages mm -hmm. that gave job history, it gave, you know, where we grew up, where I was born, everything. Because I wanted it as much detail as possible. So, you know, they can't always ask questions. They, there's some things that they need to know. Yeah, but, not, but think about it nowadays. So if people are just applying for jobs, looking for jobs, and all that information, it may, they might not use it now, but down the road, you could you could have your identity stolen from somebody. And they open up credit cards, get car loans. I mean, so, so I, I, I just, it, this just dawned on me last night. I'm like, you know what, today when I when I talk to Mark, I'm going to ask him if he knows any developers, because I would love to, to build a uh, an app and 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 for our identity theft to help protect an app, you know, just to to monitor your identity. And that's kind of the good thing about co-working spaces that you can come and talk to people who are kind of like in the same mindset, and get ideas, and combine like you know, yeah, talents and all that kind of stuff. So it's fun.
<laughs> there are several app developers here uh -huh. that specialize in iPhone applications. Uh, Brian will be here tonight. I'm sure I believe he's here tonight. He's working on several different, I think it's 10 different iPhone applications. Okay. Yeah, let me talk to him. I, I just think that's the way to go. Every state. We also have one of our sponsors for New Tech is mobileprogramming.com. Really? They did, uh, yes. They're one of the top developers for mobile apps in the area. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. And yeah, let me get, let me talk to them. Because I'm all about this now. <laughs> oh. We did the Chase app. The Chase app? The bank? Yes. What about the nice. you did the Chase app? Really? Wow. Yeah, definitely need to talk yeah. to him. So he he can he knows all about the security and all everything. Because nowadays, my gosh, everybody everything you can get hacked on anything. You can. <laughs> I can make I can make a joke about being hacked. <laughs> if you have a good enough idea, you could uh, submit it to Biz Freaks, the new accelerator we just launched. Really? Tell me about that. It's uh. Part of the Global Accelerator Network. It's the former Techstars Network. Okay. Um, what it is, people submit their ideas. We select from all of the different applications we have. Five teams will be chosen, and each one of those teams will receive $20,000. And a curriculum over 100 days with full mentorship, where we have one or two full-time members or mentors that will spend all of their time with them every week. And about 60, 70, you know, we're not sure what their final count is going to be, of specialty members or mentors that will teach them specific things. Cool. Something like um, social media. Some of the people don't know anything about social media. Some people don't know about how to write a term sheet. How do you file your taxes? How do you buy a domain name? So each one of those specific things will be a one person part of it. So it's, it's oh, nice. when are you doing the contest? It started now. Uh, we have from now until September 15th, okay. the deadline for the last of the mission. And then we choose five teams from there. And when they graduate, we offer them $50,000 in a convertible note to help them as a bridge for the time they get funded. It's like the Hacker House. And we have one day. Yes, very similar. And how, what do they have to do to submit? Like, what do people have to do to submit? On bizfreaks.com, we have an application where you, you put you in type it down. Can you type it into the um, chat box and we can have it? I want to. I want to. I want to pitch. Everybody wants to pitch. Now. Uh, no, yeah, let's yeah, do it. Just yeah. for the heck. <laughs> we also need mentors um, for all different things. Um, I was actually looking at talking to Scotty about that for uh, information on factoring. You know, some of these companies need to know about that. So we will need. I don't know if you want my boyfriend to be mentoring anybody. <laughs> is he? Is he? Is he is he is very. He's exactly what we want. I know. <laughs> he is honest. He's too honest. That's a scary honest. part. That's how, I don't want him to start crying. That's what we want. Honesty is good. <laughs> I don't want him to start crying. <laughs> he's like, you want somebody Some to actually to give you money for this? <laughs> are you going to pitch me for this? <laughs> Some of our mentors are as brutal as I have ever seen. And it is a great because they don't pull punches. They want the company to succeed, and if they don't think that they will, they will beat up on them until they do. Uh, I, I don't want to say it that way. I mean, of course they're going to have all the, the guidance. They don't want them to fail. Mm -hmm. so they're going to do everything they can to make them succeed. Tough love, baby. Tough love. So, like, when they enter this, this that, contest, um, do they have to have a finished product for their pitch, or is it? Oh, they can just design one. Yeah. No, okay. It could be, it could be a concept. Oh, it's a concept. It could be on a, a napkin. 
Okay. So when they finish, they will have a full company with customers in 100 days. That is our goal. So how do you get a team? Do you just pitch on your own and then the team gets selected from the people who are pitching or how does that we work? We have people you know, in-house here that we're going to help them build a team. But it's always to your advantage if you start working on the team ahead of time. Keep working on your idea ahead of time. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this entrepreneur gathering every Friday night. Because I want people to start getting used to the idea of forming teams and the team may work for one project, mm -hmm. let it go for one or two weeks. If it doesn't work well, we'll drop that and go on to another idea. Nice. That's a great idea. We can do team building. I'm kind of curious, like, you know, like, I guess so, so today is the 2nd of August. So next year on the 2nd of August, I'm kind of curious how many teams and companies and how many um, projects are cranked out of caffeine spaces. We'll have to like, Pardon me? As it's, this time next year, I want to do the same show with you, but I want to find out, you know, like, are you going to, you should have a board of all the different companies that came out of Caffeine Spaces, yes. just to see, because I, I know you do the brushes for the, for the membership, but I'm just saying the, if you did something where you just have, I don't know, just show how many co different companies that came out or how many collaboration projects that came out. What I want to do is we have another wall on the opposite side of the brushes. Uh -huh. I want to put on there where it's hey, companies that get incorporated and where they're at. You know, right. if they're succeeded, if they fail, you know, some companies are going to fail. Yeah, of course. Um, we expect you know a fair number of the companies that come into the accelerator in the first three classes. There are going to be a substantial amount that will not make it. But there are going to be, you know, another half that are going to do very well. Wow. And some of those teams may actually be cannibalizing teams that don't do well. So let me. So we can. That's great. Get it. So when when are you guys going to get a three D printer? When are we going to get a three D printer? You need one. You have you one. Three D printer, right? Yeah, he has one. <laughs> You're gonna go show off now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you have one. I thought I, did, did the hacker guys leave them? Your, is that yours or somebody loaned it to you? Or? Oh, we've been buying them. You're what? Buying them, putting them together. Oh, you've been buying them. Let's see. There's one there. Dun dun dun. Am I psychic? Oh see. my god. Put together. Let's see. How do I? I'm still not good with this camera. Yeah, Go give us a tour of the whole space now that you're out right there. there. <laughs> I know, right? But it'll all be in reverse. What, you want me to walk backwards now? Yeah. No, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it, but don't, don't fall. We are not responsible for your injuries. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's okay. Off. He's over there. No, he's faking. <laughs> This is the brushes. Okay, that's that's the movie room. The movie room. The movie room. You need pillows. <laughs> Say hi. He needs pillows. Just giving a tour. <laughs> a live TV tour. Live TV tour. Back. <laughs> See, now we. Now he's coming to crash into oh. me. <laughs> He's horrible. I thought it was a bad driver. <laughs> yeah, it was a shaky tour. <laughs> They're actually building um, uh, 3D printers right now in caffeine spaces, really? Yes. Wow. Five of them. Wow. Are you actually, there, there are CNC machines, there are 3D printers. Um, there's a hybrid one that's a CNC machine that we're turning into a 3D printer. Really? Which is a, 3D, a CNC machine is what you use to make circuit boards. So well, Carla and I are like, okay. <laughs> no, I, I've been through the talk before, him and Matt. I've been in the room listening before. <laughs> I've heard the talk. Yeah, so we probably uh, completely lose you halfway through. If they lose me about a quarter of the way in. It's really interesting, actually. It's like, you're like, wow, oh. this is, looks fun. <laughs> Can I make shoes? Like, oh. I just want to do, do the printer because I can, if I can uh, figure out how to like 
put my own shoes yeah I've seen some bank, like funky yeah, styles. But they, they... I don't know. Your feet are kind of big. We might not, might not be able to make them. Oh, right. My, yeah. Mine's six and a half. I mean, they're big. So is mine. Yeah. They're small. We can share shoes now. Yeah. 3D printed shoes. I know. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to make shoes, and then I'm going to have somebody. I, can, I, I, I would not finish the project. I probably can finish the, the, making the shoes, but I want somebody to sit there and glue rhinestones on them. Well, why don't we 3D print rhinestones anyway? Oh, you can have it already. Oh, yeah, there you go. My guy gotta get one. See, we can use different colored ink or different colored plastic. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna, are you using the guys um uh the hacker house like you know they have the plastic guy that they had used in in Gainesville for the product for for their 3D printer? I honestly don't know where the material comes from. Okay. But I know we are buying it in bulk. Awesome. Yeah, because I'm learning. <laughs> that's, just, that's the way I want. I want to get a 3D printer for my boyfriend for um, Hanukkah because I don't know what else to get him. I know that's something he doesn't have. <laughs> well, they have kits that you can buy now. Just a few hundred dollars. Really? Like, yes. what can you print out of that? Like something tiny? How big is it? I bring it's a 3D printer I for $3. Think it's six by six. Six inch by six inch. So a dollar bill by a dollar bill. Oh, okay. And what what can you make out of that? Your own ideas. Oh wow. And where can you where can I get that at? I I'd have to check with Matt where there's a website that he was showing me. Uh-huh. I know that they sell a lot of them on Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I remember them on Kickstarter because the, the Hacker House guys were um, trying, are, were selling selling it too, weren't they? When we were doing that um, Hakanugi. Yes, yeah. I think they were also using um, uh, MakerBot, which is one of the companies. Okay. That that makes them. They had a little more high end than what we have. We have not ordered the high end. Um, I, we're playing with them, trying to learn how to use them, so we're building them ourselves. That's cool. Well, when, when you're ready to do the first demonstration, let Social Chats cover it. We'll, we'll put it on Spreecast. Can you make our? Can you make? Can you make Carla and I like matching pair of shoes or something? <laughs> Actually, if you come here not next it. weekend, but the following. In two weeks, we'll have a an entrepreneur gathering where we're going to put two of them together. Uh huh. Because we have two more that are they got delivered yesterday, and we'll be putting them together in about two weeks. Nice. We can get some like jewelry. Yeah, I know. Some jewelry accessories. A bracelet. Crowns. Like, what's this girls are like <laughs> tiaras. 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 Co-working tiaras. Co-working tiaras. <laughs> yeah. Co-working accessories. Yeah. <laughs> Keychains. No, no, he'll be dead. No, he wants. I wonder what he's going to show us now. You can make Sierra with caffeine. Oh yeah, caffeine spaces, yeah. <laughs> Get that branding. You can going. go buck wild with a 3D printer. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how many people are you expecting tonight, Mark? About 30. Awesome. 20 to 30. Most more, more likely than 30. Will you be doing any more? I invited a few people. Uh, I'm gonna try to pop by after I'm, I'm done with my haircut. So this should be when I'm, by the time I'm done, it, it, it'll be. You guys will be starting, so I'll just pop in and say hi. Yes, definitely stop in anytime between six and midnight. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be in around six six o'clock because my appointment's at four thirty, so I'll be six thirty. I'll just swing by. Okay. So, when are you going to do another like a hackathon? We have actually, I was just informed that there's a hackathon that's going to be at Old Times Square very soon, um, within the, what the next couple weeks. Okay. I have one here October 14th. And who's um, putting, November? Who's putting that up? That's the PhD. That's a PhD hackathon. Okay. That we are hosting here. Um, it's PhD-based products. Um, we have in West Palm Beach uh, startup weekend. Okay. Yeah. In the November 14th, 15th, and 16th, I believe. 
there's a maker fair that I just got another email for that's going to be the same weekend. Oh, really? Wait, is that going to be down in Miami? I don't know. I, I'm really bad at catching up on my email this week. Well, I just spoke to, I was telling someone about that, uh, the makerspace. So I was like, I, it'd be nice if we had something like that. You know, because Mark, um, Aslan, that I think he was trying to get that going. I believe Mark Aslan and Pierre, Mike Greenberg. Um, I can't remember everybody that's involved in that one. But I'd like to see a, a hackathon where it's like 24 hours, you know, and people, people have like tents out in the parking lot <laughs> or RV they can sleep in or hang out. <laughs> Well, that would be cool if you had a hackathon for 24 that. hours instead of 12 hours. You should do one for 24 hours or a whole weekend. What I'd like to do is where they come in at say, 6 o'clock on a Friday night mm -hmm. and work all the way through until Saturday night or even Sunday. Yeah, that's what, I, yeah. For the hacking week, we didn't have enough time. Yeah, I know. These companies, even though that some of them started even before the event, coming up with ideas. They didn't have enough time. One day is not enough. No. For that. That's why I'm like, we'll, we'll do the live coverage. Because <laughs> I think, yeah, it'll be, last time. yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun. And and I I would try because if we did something like that, if I knew ahead of the plan, Carla and I can like really set this up because I would have to get an RV company to like sponsor our social chat so we can have our own little trailer hanging out in the parking lot and <laughs> interview people. Interview? Oh, that'd be so much fun, actually. Isn't it? That's what they did when they came down from uh, was it Gainesville. They had their own little camper, and they stayed in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that would be so cool to do something like that. We could have food trucks come again. Mm -hmm. We could have you know just really blow it up for a whole entire weekend. That's I told you, Ray. That's the kind of project that I, both Carla and I are like. We, we can commit to that. We, I like that kind of stuff. That that is just so. It's so like. I don't know. That might be. So different. Too much mischief. We can video. We can, you can even like actually make a movie out of this. You can I could make a movie out of the whole weekend. <laughs> That'll be fun. That'll be fun. I am down. Me too. <laughs> I think I'll go hide that weekend. No, he won't. He'll be all excited and happy. <laughs> so you know, I'm just. What's the call? What, what was it? I know I will not be caught sleeping on the couch again this time. They only covered you with a blanket. They didn't do anything bad to you, so you were good. Yeah. You were in entrusted circle. Mm -hmm. Nobody put makeup on you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you were safe. No, it's, it's true. He was safe. Nothing. He was safe. No, I know nothing happened. I have the video cameras watching. So. Yeah, he was fine. He wasn't prettied up by anyone. <laughs> Um, what's it called? I was at the WordPress thing yesterday, uh -huh. and somebody was asking about co-working and like the hours, and they were talking about how you know, like you know, they work in an office, but it doesn't have like the hours of co-working. So do you want to talk about that, Mark? Like how people can come in 24 or? What I have here is our uh, file members are from eight till eight or nine in the morning to about six o'clock at night. Well, a bit normal business hours are run from nine to six. At six o'clock is when we start having a lot of our nighttime events. So you can still use the conference rooms and like the screen room, the makerspace, the things at night. But in the main area, we have a lot of people in. Last week we had four, three or four, yeah, four events. Each one of those events had over 50 people to them. Wow. Uh, one of them only had 40 years. Yeah, uh, every night I try and have a lot of activity. But our full time members have key card access and they have 24 hour access. So they can come in nights, weekends, early mornings, whenever they would like to come in and use the space. And you have a sale going on, right, for July? Or a special going yeah, on? Yeah, July, August. and I'm probably run that throughout the rest of this weekend. Um, if you prepay for six months at the normal one ninety nine, I will give six months of free. That's good. So it's like twelve hundred dollars a year. For, for a year. That's good. It's a great deal, actually. Versus it would be you know, twenty four. 
or if you do a reoccurring monthly. Uh, and I am doing uh, a lifetime membership for three thousand dollars as well. And what what is a lifetime membership? I give you a key card, and you can come anytime, any location that I open, as long as we're open under the campaign cases. So the idea is this location is still our pi uh, pilot location, and we are looking at several other locations to open as I need to have critical mass here. I need to have a few more people over the tipping point so I can start hiring uh, more staff. And then I'm going to start opening more locations. Cool. And I'm working with several different students, CRAs. Um, a location just came up in West Palm Beach that would be about two years away, but the building would be donated. Nice. I, actually, so it's you know, be a lot of because of you, Mark. I, I like, you know, I, I got. And thinking more because you know I didn't know anything about co-working until I met you anyway until you told me about it but I was you know because I have doctors that I work with and a lot of time you know they're licensed in so many different states and stuff and I always just thought that you know, co-working doesn't have to be just for um, tech couldn't can you create the same no, we have a lot platform of people come here. for doctors like if, if they got their own private rooms well that's in future build outs I will have the executive office style private rooms mm -hmm. Right now, I do not have because I'm I'm an incubated company. I'm this is actually an incubator here at the location I'm at. What I've done is I've taken out of the 11,000 square feet, I converted 4,000 square feet of that space into co-working. Because right now I, I know someone that has a huge building that's empty in Fort Lauderdale. So not empty, but it's it's huge, but it's a lot of space is sitting there, and I'm like, why don't we have a medical co-working space? And, and that is a, there are several niches that are being formed for different co-working business models. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two of them that are in the New York area specifically for writers. It's like a library mm -hmm. for writers. Nice. nice. It's nice and quiet. You have you know all your coffee, your food, drinks, things like that that are you know all membership driven. Um, Friend of mine from elementary school is actually one of the members there, and that's the way I reconnected with him is I found him on their website. Oh, nice. He is one of his teachers. Cool. So, really, a co can be used for any niche. Yes. You know, here we're more tech based focused because that's who the majority of my friends are. Yeah. Um, I've been going to tech meetings for seven, eight years now, different meetup groups, and the majority of the people that I know in my social graph are in that industry. Very cool. And it's just easier for me to market to them, to cater to them, because I know the need. Makes sense. What would you say are the benefits of co-working? Like, what would you tell people? Collaboration. Um, if you, well, it drove me crazy working from home for like 14 years where every time I sit down to start to write something, I'd either remember I had to go do laundry, do the dishes, you know, let the dog out, to check the mail, all the different distractions. The other part was isolation. Sometimes my son would be the only person I talked to over a two week period of time, or the person at the gas station. Other than that, I was, Basically, a shut-in. I didn't. I would spend 22 days in one room working. Now it actually forces me out of the house to be around other people, or like-minded people. You don't have quite the. You don't have the dream stories here. Most of the people that come here are motivated. They want to help each other to build upon each other. So I know personally, for me, my morale has changed dramatically in the last six months, um, even the last two or three months, I my health has improved. Because you're around people. I mean, even, yeah, um, just my physical body change, I've stayed consistent between 170, 175 pounds, but I've lost six inches off my waist and 12 inches off my belly. Um, I have physical activity, watching what I eat. 
being around people that are active. Mm -hmm. I'm right now still, I haven't had any caffeine yet today, and I'm jumping off the wall. Because everyone's trying to see You're in the same room with Carla. Huh? <laughs> you know, because you're in the same room with Carla. That's probably why you're jumping off the wall. <laughs> I'd be jumping off the wall too. Uh -huh. I was in the same room with Carla. <laughs> Where's my hair color? I just do that to people, huh? I hype them up. No, yeah, as I was saying. <laughs> I make them hyper. <laughs> but it's true, because, you know, like, I, I was just thinking the, uh, I, I, I was, and this, everything I'm telling you is what I, I think about. Um, you know, cause as a makeup artist, I used to work at Sex with Avenue in Boca, and I just became friends with all my old friends, and I haven't really spoke to them in 14 years. And um, no, 13 years. I'm sorry, 13 years. And then I was around people all the time. And you know, and since I got into social media and got into the tech scene, which was in 2006, I was like, some days I would go for months. I mean, I would go for months, but not ever seeing anyone. Just I just work, 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 work. But then you know, I, I do all my networking and stuff. But I I see that like you know, I need to get out of my house because I think that's where I'm get I'm starting to like go on my rant because. I really don't have any other energy. All I can do is yell and, and talk to my dogs. There's five of them, you know, and they talk back sometimes. But it's like, you know, that human interaction. <laughs> He's throwing stuff at him. I know. <laughs> that human interaction is so important. And, and with the collaboration with everyone, you know, with different people, with different, where they, different places they come from, I think that's, that's a really positive thing. Especially, you know, for co-working, if you want to have some good ideas, you need other people to bounce off those ideas. And especially like-minded people, because yeah. you could be around people who don't understand what you're doing, and that could be like down your morale, kind of, you know? So if you're around people that kind of believe in the same ideas and seen, seen successes out of it, that encourages you to, you know, be the same way, instead of being around people who are just like, what are you doing? What are you writing again? You know? Like they just don't understand your, mm -hmm. so yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. A morale booster to be around people that are helpful. You don't have the dream stealers, you know, where you come up with the something that you like, and you want to go for it. You can always find somebody here that will support you along the way. They may not be exactly in your niche. They may. I have more mentors helping me along the route doing this than I could ever imagine. I have legal help, I have accounting help, tax help. I have you know, help on how to order chairs. Uh, we have a new member here that he works for a large company that specializes in specialty chairs, ergonomic chairs, things like that. Cool. Um, how did you like this green room? We're going to be completely renovating it next week. Uh, we're going to do it this week. We just ran out of time. And one of our members has all of the equipment that needs to be used for green room. Fantastic. So you always have collaboration of your idea. Somebody to go to. You're not alone. Because mm -hmm. next time Carla is in the green room, I want to see the beach behind her. <laughs> she's she's ordering. <laughs> she wants beach behind me. Or even like you know you know you know where the Boca Inlet is. There's a camera that that goes down and shows you all the boats. You should have that. You should have that that background. The camera because always constantly change all these what different boats. The I need different ones every time. Yeah. I get bored easily. <laughs> I'm like demanding stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think that we can have art. Help us with the green screen that's behind you right now. Why is Art not here? I thought he would be here. No, but there's going to be a recording of this, and we can do some editing afterwards. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, well, I'm curious to see that, that how that does. That would be cool. Let's start to see how we do that. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going to start attacking now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can make, make it look like you're flying. Doesn't listen the green green room. Can you make somebody look like they're flying through the air? In the green room. Oh, somebody else. Okay. Yeah, behind you. Every mark. <laughs> I'm just sitting here quietly. I ran out of hair ties and quarters. Yeah. <laughs> to throw at me. 
<laughs> so uh, college is starting at FAU because Caffeine Space is, is part of the incubator of the university. Am I correct? It is not. It is uh, not part of the university. It is a nonprofit. Okay. That is. Uh, we have actually several different entities here. We have FAU, and we are right next to them on the research park, which is state property, managed by Florida. Uh, Florida Research Authority, and within that you have a company called uh, Technology Business Incubator. That's actually the company that is incubating me, um, but there's a managing company that runs the Technology Business Incubator, and about five or six more, which is called the Enterprise Development Corporation, or the EDC. So do you get the students, are you like, do you guys invite out, invite the students to come check out your facilities or, because college is starting? Yes, actually I have to get a letter out by three o'clock today to somebody over at FAU that is bringing in interns for us to show them the space, offer them help, guidance, how to develop whatever they want to do. And we do have several professors that come in and teach um, some classes, or not really classes, but they do some mentorship mm -hmm. with the students here in the conference room. And also, like, if let's say if it's a student once, do you do you offer student discount at all, as far as if they wanted to sign up to be? Right now, I've cut the price down to everybody down to the student discount price. Okay. Everybody's at one ninety nine. Okay. I do offer. Uh, a mailbox, uh, like a virtual package, mm -hmm. where if you want to have your mailbox here for one or for ninety-nine dollars a month, but that also includes to where you can come in and use the space on limited hours during regular business hours. You don't have a key card to come twenty-four hours a day. Nice. So for ninety-nine dollars, you have a virtual mailbox there. there. Yes. You can hang your shingle on. You know, if you need to have a legal uh, residence uh, for a law firm, or I don't know all the specs on it. That's where I have somebody else that helps me with that. But if you need to be a real estate agent and have a physical address, you can mm -hmm. actually use us as your physical address. I sign for packages three or four times a day for people that are in athletics, um, packages, for the beer. Very cool. We don't have virtual phone service yet, but that's something that we can have. That's going to be a course that we're going to teach on a Friday night in a couple of weeks, about three, three or four weeks. So, you know, I, I was just talking the other day on my, um, I think it was on Thursday, talking about Google going into um, Google Fiber. I guess they go, they're, they're going to all the Starbucks um, to get so that it would be faster internet. Do you think that something, yeah. a project like that, would you reach out to Google and have them come in? Yes, I'm. As it, as it, would uh, you, um, you should have Google come in and, and, and do your uh, internet. Actually, we have Lambda Rail here. Okay. Which is faster than Google Fiber. Really? We just have it. Yes. We put the problem, or not the problem. Uh, what I've done is worked out where we have one switch that gives us business internet here on this side for right now. And as we grow, we can add more uh, lines to it. Each one of those lines is 10 gigabytes, 10 gigs per second versus most of your home or business class. The top you can get is 100 megs. Yeah. Wow. I have it right now throttled here. Just because the line that I use running from one end of the building mm -hmm. uh, is not a full business class line. So I need to rerun another line from one end of the building to where my router is. Mm -hmm. Or just put in a, um, a better router to run through the entire building. So we're experimenting. Like I said, this is still our prototype or a pilot where we're, we don't know what we're going to use in future locations. So I experiment with everything here.
because internet's like, God. It's in, I don't I don't get it. Why we're in the 21st century and we're in America and our internet is not as fast compared to Europe. They're like fast in Europe. The internet that we have here on the campus, right, it is a, it's a university pipeline where we can tap right into, it goes up to 32 light waves, which think of it where your home internet is about the width of a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Now think of a pipeline that it would be um, a six foot round circle versus a thread. That's what the pipeline is in the global university. Right. It's just, um, they're experimenting on how to use it. We're research, we're research. You're like uh, one of the first one. Testing how this works. Oh, that's cool. We are the only non-university um, location to use it because they're testing it to Build out for other locations. Very cool. So it's about that time. Um, before we go, uh, think about the information. Oh my God, we talked about what did we talk about? Shoes, three D printing, identity theft. We, I, we literally collaborate. On internet, power. yeah, internet. So, Start up. Right up. <laughs> hair. hair. That Carlos hair is always perfect. Yeah. I know. I know. She's like, <laughs> awkward. <No. laughs> Mine is too, can't you tell? Here. Yeah, let's talk hey, about Mark's hair. Let's talk about yeah, Mark's much hair. better. <laughs> there <Yeah>. you go. <laughs> it looks like a funny picture. A high school picture of some lady. <laughs> All right, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. He, he, he looks like he's, he's, he's in a rock and roll band to me. He, he, he's like, no, the way he was sitting like this, like it was just a pose. <laughs> there you go. He looks like a rock and roll band guy to me. Now he's do now he's doing Fabio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know we love you. We're, we're laughing with you. We love you. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. <laughs> he's gonna kill me when when we turn off this internet. <laughs> See this? No. No. Oh. I'm leaving. I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of here. <laughs> So, so Mark, before we go, um, so every Friday you you have an event. Every Friday we have the entrepreneur gathering. Okay. Um, about three four nights a week we have other user meetups. Okay. That meet here. And the if, third Thursday of every month is our new tech community meeting. Okay. And also, if mm. somebody wanted to find out information about Caffeine Space, how would they get a hold of you? CaffeineSpaces.com. Okay. I actually do have a website up now, and I also have, I'm most active on Facebook, where it's Caffeine Space, or Facebook.com slash Caffeine Spaces. .com. I'm just going to just pop this up here real quick. And, is that right? I'm quick, Mark. Right underneath us. And there's your Facebook page. Facebook. Awesome. And are you on Twitter? You're on Twitter, right? Yes, we're on Twitter. It's the same caffeine spaces. Okay. Fantastic. And well that that's a wrap, folks. So thanks a lot, Mark, for all the info. I'll see I'll see you guys later. So I'll bring you some tea. I'll put it in a cooler. <laughs> I might be hiding someplace. I take it. <laughs> Are you gonna go take a nap? I don't know if I'll be taking a nap today. I'm uh maybe I'll have a coffee or two. See if that helps calm me down a little bit today. Wait for my tea. Yeah, um, that, that's my new thing. I'm I'm trying to take like at least one one or two days a week. I take like a, a 45 minute nap in the afternoon, late afternoon, just so my brain can get like you know realigned again or something. <laughs> We're too busy here to, for me to take a nap anymore. I have oh, good. people coming through. Well, make sure you give me, um, you know, give me updated on the um, hackathons um, from Cap. Like I love doing, like you know, promoting hackathons. But if, if it's in Boca at Caffeine Spaces, count me in. That's this is not that far. <laughs> We'd like to start doing a once a month do a smaller hackathon mm -hmm. and then do like quarterly or tri-quarter or 
at least one every six months. But if I can do them quarterly to where we do an overnight yeah, like, full weekend. I think that would be fun. Definitely. So guys, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. But um, everybody, um, enjoy your weekend and I will be back live on socialchats.net on Monday from 1 to 2. And if you want to be on the show, you can e email me at contact at socialchats.net. Follow us on Social Chats SF. Also like our Facebook page, Social Chats. So everybody have a great day and see you guys later. Bye guys. I'll see you later. Bye.